What's up guys? Just in my shop right now. Uh, I just got a, a NA2J dropped off today. I traded the guy some uh, rare Supra parts that he needed. So I got this thing today, which comes with, it's basically complete. Um, he said it came with 80,000 K and it looks like it's in really good shape. The nice thing is, is it comes with the harness, which I need these three plugs. Where's the other one? So the gray one, the orange one, and a white one. There it is right there. I need those plugs to send off to, I should get the chain off that like stat. Uh, send off to tweaked for my, my harness. That's the core charge right there, which I didn't want to take it off my car. Cause then I'd have a hacked harness and we plan on putting that engine into a Tacoma. And yeah, so here's the engine. So it's a bonus for me because what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use the harness for the core charge. Um, I may sell the pan to Real Street. Again, I've sold about three to them already. And it's really nice because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all of this that's on the NA and use the use the hardware for for the power steering, the AC, um, the alternator. Even though I have brand new components, this has everything that I need to put in place and transfer it over to the new engine. So my power steering pump's on here, but it's missing a bracket. I don't have AC. I have a brand new alternator that's in a box down there for a six-speed Supra. And I'm gonna complete my engine with those that the hardware on that on that NA. So here's my my engine here. It's done, it's ready to go and be put in. I have um, ceramic painted uh, intake manifold to keep the heat out. It's like a special heat powder that that draws heat out and keeps heat out. Same with my oil pan. Usually they're they're uh, just aluminum, but mine's black with a special, special heat powder as well. And yeah, so this will hopefully go in the car this summer. And then here, this 2J, I got from a buddy who was selling, and it's in really good shape for the most part. I think this one I'd locate too, like 80,000 K, so the block's in really good shape. And there's the crankshaft there, which a buddy of mine is picking up. It's in really good shape. And yeah, so a lot of you, you know, like the NA engines, a lot of people have been asking me what the difference is between the NAs and the TTs. Basically, they're the same engine minus the pistons in this are obviously not forged and they're higher compression. I'm talking about the bottom end and the oil squirters in the TT block, whereas the NA block does not have the oil squirters. And a lot of the, the high, high, high horsepower Supras or 2J cars want this block because they don't have the oil squirters, which increase oil pressure. And so the NA block is, is really nothing to balk at either. It's a very capable engine. You swap the head gasket in it, um, and there's people making six, 700 horsepower the way it is. So it's pretty impressive that way. The only thing I hate, I absolutely hate about this engine is the intake manifold, how it wraps over the valve covers. Makes it so hard to do anything. Uh, change valve cover gaskets, change spark plugs, change spark plugs, you gotta take the throttle body off. Um, this, this one is, is a bitch because for some reason they like to like melt like that one. I don't know what the hell's going on there, but I've seen a lot of cars do that and you got to change the, uh, the gasket to take this off. You know, you have to take the whole plenum off pretty much. And this is a JDM car or JDM engine. So the nice thing about this engine, it doesn't have EGR as well, which is a bonus. So, yeah, that is the, the 2J shop right now. I got 
three, well, two pretty much complete engines, one disassembled block, and then parts out the yin yang. Could probably build another engine. So, just wanted to give you a uh, a small overview of of my situation right now. Hope you enjoyed.